What's up guys, welcome back to Fallout 4. So, when we left off, we were stuck at this, like, puzzle sort of thing. So you gotta, just gotta input a word into here, and the word is, um, you know, railroad, because we're looking for the railroad. So you just put that into there, I struggled a little bit because I, you know, forgot how to spell railroad for a short time. Oh, Nick Valentine cut up to me. The entire time I was putting in the railroad word, he wasn't here, and it was a little bit lonely and disconcerting. Anyway, let's proceed on into the railroad base. Oh my gosh. It's a large weapon of mass destruction. Who am I? That is a really good question. Um, Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the Sims' only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. I am not your enemy. It's kind of sad you can't tell them I am your enemy and then shoot them, but not an option for that. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? Dr. Amari told me how to find you. Very interesting. Last question. Why are you here? I'm here for money. I need a courser chip decoded. You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the Courser Killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a Courser? Single-handedly? Oh, that'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this Courser murdering machine a little crazy. Just a I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Awesome. Um, Hopefully we can work let's something out. What figure something out. For puts us in a tricky position. Des, we need to let him in. He's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that. He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. Awesome. They're just going to let me in. Don't try it's funny because uh, last time I did this, there's like a side quest that you have to do to like gain their trust or something. So, Or maybe even it might have been to join the railroad because they said they're letting an outsider inside. But we just get to go straight into the railroad HQ, which is nice. No annoying side quests have to be done first. And a lot of times in this game, there's always a side quest to be done first. Okay, so this is the railroad HQ. It looks kind of sketchy. It looks kind of like we're in one of those old subway stations, maybe. But um, this is where they set up shop. And the railroad's bigger than this. They have, like, other stations. But I believe this is their main base. Noodle cups. Everything is stealing. Probably when we get on the good side of the railroad, we'll be able to, like, take some of this food, which would be really nice because... A lot of times when you're in like tough combat situations you go through like a ton of those dandy boy apples or whatever it is that you're eating. So I guess we're just following Desdemona for a while. Maybe this guy's gonna help us out. All right, you want to help me out with this chip? Everyone else is like talking in the background, like these fools over here won't shut up. Just do the thing. Wow, they hooked a typewriter up to a computer. That is unbelievable. At some point, we'll be able to go kill stuff again. We're just not quite there yet. What? Oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccups. Encryption algorithms. All right. Still you got this, Tom. Oh man, they added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? He's actually playing the hacking minigame. That's pretty funny. The exact same minigame that we'd use to like hack any terminal. Yeah, he's just doing that. Softly in. Come on. So did 
Yeah, show me the boys. Then we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape. Oh yeah. Good work, Tom. Yeah. I'm not sure how luck will hold up next time, Biz. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Okay, I got you. So now what is the quest telling us to do? Return to Virgil. Of course. Of course. I may have forgotten who Virgil was. It's been a while. I've been like out of town for Thanksgiving, so I haven't necessarily been playing Fallout 4. Um, I would play it on my laptop if I could, but my laptop can't quite handle it. So you can go out that way if you want to go out that way, or alternatively, you can go out the escape tunnel. And this is how you exit the railroad every single time you access it. It's kind of annoying because you have to run through not one loading screen, but there's an additional loading screen. Luckily that one was pretty fast. You have to run through these nasty like sewer, the sewer area. Oh, I'm out of uh, action points already. It's really nice to upgrade like your endurance. It allows you to sprint for a lot longer, but we'll work on that. And then you have to go through another loading screen after you uh, use this terminal. So yeah, I'll return to Virgil and then we'll be right back. Okay, so Virgil is actually the giant green guy. Of course, like how could you possibly forget that? That was pretty silly. Okay, so we found the railroad. Now Virgil. Yeah, we killed that courser that you thought we were gonna die against. I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? Um, just did it myself. Ah, this I don't think this guy's a big fan of the railroad. the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and sent you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything holy crap this guy could use like some throat healing tea or something he's got a gravelly voice I'm sure it'll work for the record I haven't made any promises but if you can build this device and make use of that code you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay can you I mean can you build it you have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. Ye of little faith. He's also wearing glasses without frames. I don't really understand the point of that. I also don't really understand what the point of me wearing a gas mask everywhere, so I guess we're all a little bit crazy. Okay, so we got the plans now. Virgil wants to go back to being a regular human, so he wants us to grab some serum from his lab for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe he's tired of having, like, super strength and an extended life, and I think super mut mutants are, like, immune to radiation. Most um, irradiated creatures are. So he's sick of all these awesome benefits. He just wants to look normal. I mean, if you're a hermit in a cave, it doesn't really matter what you look like, but... 
maybe he has uh, other ideas. So we're going to talk to the Minutemen because uh, the Minutemen are pretty awesome. And hopefully they'll help us out with being able to build this like teleporter thing so we can get into the Institute. And that would be awesome if we could get that done. I don't think it will take too long. We probably just have to do more of this crafting stuff that the game tries to push on you in a lot of quests. Okay, we just woke up, got some sleep in because it was late at night and uh, I guess I could have just found Preston Garvey wherever he was sleeping, but I felt like, you know, just he usually hangs out here during the daytime. So, I let's to talk to him and see if he can help us. What are they for? Um, it's complicated. These are plans for building a signal. I wish you could just straight up lie to him. To get like, this is for making an orange juice machine. Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? Uh, help just help me out. I'd like to help, but you know my situation. I've got to deal with the immediate problems first. I haven't forgotten that you need my help. Remind me as soon as you found out what that settlement needed from the Minutemen. Oh, dang it. Dang it. We have to help him out before he will um, allow us to get help from him. So I guess probably for all three of these factions here, you can get help from the Minutemen or you can go to the Brotherhood. But I imagine um, since the Minutemen are making us doing a making us do a side quest if you want to get help from the brotherhood you'll probably have to like do their whole in entry quests and there's a lot of stuff that you have to do before you like actually meet the brotherhood so that'll probably take a while let's try the railroad instead and um if they make us do a side quest before we can get help whatever if we're going to be dealing more with each other i need to make sure that we're on the same page you know what I do know what a synth is, yes. Yeah, I know all of that was a little bit sudden. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth. Uh, probably wouldn't risk my life for a synth, honestly, but I'm gonna say that I will just to make her happy. I have to protect my country. I don't see this as any different. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs. Normally, we'd try and recruit you, but right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute, and in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Okay, so this is going to be like the entry to the railroad, so it does look like we're going to have to join the railroad to get their help, but that's okay. I like the railroad quite a bit. Um, one great thing about the railroad is if you have Nick as your follower, um, you're going to like gain a ton of reputation from him because he's a synth and these guys are all about helping synths. So if you want to like progress Nick's, I don't know, if you want to like become friends with him, just become a member of the railroad. It happens a lot. Hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. I'm I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm all right. Huh. You're tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter, gal of about 15, pride and joy of the mayor back then by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. Didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl in four tufts. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people 
people seem to warm to that. Was it hard settling in? Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her. Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth, but it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things... Uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Oh my gosh. Alright, cool story, bro. Essentially, when you build your followers' reputation, eventually they'll give you some of your backstory. That's the longest one I've heard. So that's kind of cool, like completely unrelated to everything else that we're doing right now. So let's finally talk to Deacon and get started on our um, objective. It's all good. Yeah, we know we're all on the same team. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. Don't worry. I'll keep your secret. That's what I want to hear. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's do this. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside. At long last. I'll fill you in once you get there. Okay, so we have our first, I guess, railroad-related quest, so we can go ahead and mark that tradecraft, and we can come back to the molecular level. This is like the main storyline here, this one, but we can't do this without helping someone out. We'd have to do quests for either the Brotherhood, the Minutemen, or the Railroad, and I'm going to go ahead and go with Railroad, and um, I don't know why. I, I, I don't really have a good explanation for why, other than uh, this quest is kind of fun, I guess. You get to shoot things. Um, I mean, that's that's how most of the quests are in this game, but this is a good one. So, I'll, I got a ways to travel, so we'll be back once I'm relatively close to meeting up with Deacon. Oh my gosh. Alright, we got some combat here. These bears are scary. Luckily, I have a pretty decent gun. The last time I uh, fought one of these bear dudes, um, I was using like one of the basic pipe pistols because that's pretty much all I had ammo for. Um, now I got Kellogg's pistol, so that helps a lot, obviously. And also, I got Nick, who's a pretty solid dude. There we go. Yao Guai meets. I think that heals quite a bit, so that's a good thing to have. And we had the perfect amount of ammo to take out that um, enemy. So that's a little bit worrying. We're going to have to go with pipe weapons for a little while here. Um, there's not a whole lot of ammo vendors in this game. Also, we're fairly close, so we'll just walk it. I think we have to get up on this bridge in order to uh, meet up with Deacon. I believe the entrance to the bridge is... Well, you know, I'm not sure where the entrance of the bridge is. It might be down here. Um, but one thing that we do have to decide fairly soonish is wh what faction we're going to like join up with for the ending of this game because there's quite a few factions that you can join up with um here he is oh he's disguised cool deacon. what's up deacon is that you like the disguise it's wastelander camo oh it's beautiful this is my pile of garbage asshole back off good right 
You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. That sounds terrifying. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. It sounds really, really bad. It was a disaster with a capital D. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So, we're getting something important we had to leave behind. Let's find it then. We gotta do one thing first. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump in for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. The Slocum's Joe, by the way, is like a donut shop, so... They're essentially hiding... They were hiding underneath a futuristic, futuristic Krispy Kreme, or... I can't really think of any other donut shops. Dunkin' Donuts, I guess. Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, so we just have to head down this bridge. But anyway, um... One of the funny thing about like the endings that you can potentially get for this game because there's several different endings is there isn't really a good or bad ending. Like I'm usually the kind of guy that always wants to go for the good ending, um, but in this game there isn't really a good ending. There's like four kind of gray area endings. Um, you have to do bad stuff no matter what faction that you join, and you uh, just have to decide like which one gives you the least moral trouble. I guess. Come on, dude, you can sprint. There are certain quests in this game where um, the guy you're following just like hoofs it. It's awesome, but Deacon, not so much. Can I lead now? And all we got, by the way, is like a bolt-action pipe rifle. So um, if there are any enemies on this bridge, when we come up to them, it's gonna be uh, sketchy. So hopefully we don't fight anything too difficult. Yeah, there's an enemy, feral ghoul. Yeah, feral ghouls are manageable even with a pipe-action rifle. There are good pipe action rifles in this game. The one I'm using just doesn't happen to be one of them. Also, someone told me in the comments to like pick up uh, stuff like duct tape and glue, and that is a really good point because every single time you take an item like that, um, it gives you adhesive, which is really useful for gun mods. If you want to like upgrade your guns, you're gonna need lots of different types of scrap part, but adhesive is one of the most useful ones. There's a railroad sign. Cool. In this bus, maybe? Is there anything in this bus? Ah, oh, scary. Oh, we leveled up. Awesome. Nope, he wasn't in this bus. Unless this is our uh, tourist. If so, uh, I'm a little bit worried. I think at some point he lets us lead on. Which would be nice, because then we would be able to sprint again. Oh, I guess if you just run out in front of him. Oh, here he is. Here's our tourist friend. That is quite the mustache. He looks like a Cuban almost. Once your friend gets here, how about we have a chat? Yeah, he's just taking his sweet time. Thank God. You have a Geiger counter? You have a goddamn Geiger counter? Yeah, I got a Geiger counter. Don't worry about it. In the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. It's all right. We're here now. You're safe. You think I'm goddamn safe? That little smoking jokes of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome since sons of bitches! The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. He seems pretty angry. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. I don't know how helpful that was, because essentially all he said is there's mines all over the place. I like, thanks well, for that. Isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Telling the truth about there being mines on the ground? Like, I have no doubt. He yeah. Strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So. 
We're going in through the escape tunnel. Yeah, that's fine. Not to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. All right, we're gonna take the back entrance. It looks like, which is down there, and it's like, yeah. Unfortunately, we can't just jump off the edge, so we're gonna have to go back because we'd break our legs and probably die. Anyway, um, in the next episode, we'll start our assault of the donut shop, and <laughs> there'll be a lot of combat with synths involved, which is always fun. Synths drop, like, ammo for laser weapons a lot, and I'm looking forward to that, because I'll be able to, like, actually use decent guns again, which sounds amazing. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Farewell.